Hey guys, it's Ellen, and today I have yet another book outlet unboxing. That might be upside down. It totally is. Aha! Yes, I'm aware that I might have a problem, but that's okay. So let's just get into it. Show that objects are scary. Okay. <laughs> so exciting. Okay, so the first book that I have here is Incarnate, and this is by Jody Meadows. Um, this one I actually have heard really good things about and I was going to get it two times ago when I got when I was shopping on Book Outlet, but I just missed it. I didn't get it quite in time and so it didn't make it um, into my purchase and now I have it and I'm so excited. It looks really pretty. So pretty. This next one that I have that actually got mixed reviews, but it seemed like something that I would like and it is April and Oliver by Tess Callahan and the reason why I think that I might like this one is because it is about um, these two young people who feel like they are soulmates and as I've said before young love is one of my favorite things to read about and also this cover is gorgeous and kind of eerie but um, I think this one's kind of right up my alley so I'm excited for it oh my gosh the cover on this is so cute look at that all right, this one is Hannah's Dream, and it's by Diane Hammond. And this one is about an elephant named Hannah, um, and she is isolated in a zoo, and it's sort of about how she deals with that. And, of course, I'm, I'm thinking that it's going to be from the human's points of view around her. Yeah, so it looks like it's about somebody named Samson Brown who is caring for this elephant. So this should be really good and very cute. This one got really high ratings, so... I'm hoping that I'll like it. These next two books are part of the reason why I made an order on Book Outlet, and they are If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Now, I have never read a Gail Foreman book, but I hear she's an incredible writer, and so this duology came up on uh, uh, Book Outlet, and so I went for it. I know this one's being has been made into a movie, and I don't know if they're going to make this one into a movie, I mean, it seems plausible, so I don't know, but they look like they'll, they're will they good. I think they're about this girl who um, her parents uh, pass away in a car accident, if I'm correct, and she has to decide whether or not she wants to stay in this world. So pretty heavy stuff. I think that I will like that. These next two books I got because they were 99 cents, which is unheard of. This one is hardcover. 99 cents like what that's incredible so um this one has gotten good reviews on goodreads and so that makes me think that i will enjoy it oh, look at the back oh my gosh so pretty so this one says that it's about uh seven generations of women um sort of going through slavery and freedom it says on the inside cover that this is a uh, american tale so basically it's takes place in America and goes through all the different or many of the different um, events that happen in American history. I really like historical fiction so I think that I will enjoy this one. It's a little bit big but I can handle it. And this one's by Nodozaki Shang and Aifa Beyeza. I'm pretty sure I said those wrong but I tried. I'm sorry. The next one I got that was 99 cents is also quite a big book. And this one is called East of the Sun. It's by Julia Gregson. This one is another historical fiction. This one takes place in 1928 in England um, where these women are traveling to India um, on a trip. I don't know much else about it, but it does look like something that I would like because I love books that take, take place sort of in the 20s and 30s, that time period. And this one also kind of... Uh, crosses cultures, which interests me. The next book I got is another Joyce Carol Oates, and this one is called um, You Must Remember This. This one is, again, historical fiction, takes place in the 1950s. This one actually says that it's based on a true story, which I think is pretty interesting. It's about two people who are trapped in a marriage that they are not happy with, and their son. Um, so this should be an interesting read. It's kind of an anti-love story, I would think and also historical fiction, which I love. This next collection of stories is by Anthony Doerr, and it's called The Shell Collector, and I picked this one up because I'm currently reading All the Light We Cannot See, and I absolutely love his writing style. I just find it so beautiful and moving. Um, so, And I also saw Sarai talk about this um, on her channel, and she said that she liked it. There were some that were better than others, um, but I think that I would enjoy some more of his writing, so I got this one. 
Then I got Parallel by Lauren Miller. This one is a science fiction story, um, and it is about, from what I can tell, it's about uh, this girl who lives parallel lives. This one is about a girl named Abby, and she plans out her life, and then she wakes up one day, and her past has been rewritten as if she had not made this one important decision. And then she lives her life basically parallel to the life that she would have led if she made this other decision. So that seems pretty cool. Living in alternate universes or alternate lives, that sounds pretty cool to me. So this looks good. This next one is called Outside the Lines. It's by Amy Hatfany. I read The Language of Sisters um, just a couple months ago, and I liked it. It wasn't like my favorite book in the world, it was, but it was, it was cute, and I liked her writing. So I wanted to see what she had in store in this one here. This one is about a girl named Eden, and she walks in on her dad ha uh, attempting suicide, which is a very dark topic. Um, but he survives it, and then her parents go through a divorce. And it seems like later in her life, she decides to go and find her dad after this whole divorce, and he hasn't been in her life for a long time. Um, so this seems like a really interesting, like, family story, which I think is cute. And the cover is adorable. I mean, how adorable is that little girl riding her dad's back? And last, but definitely not least, I got Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. And have I heard every single person and their brother and mother and dog talking about how great this book is. So I figured I need to read it. And they had it on Book Outlet in hardcover, and I was just so excited to find it. So I got it, and I'm so excited. This one is about a girl who um, her best friend leaves her. I don't know if it's temporary or forever, but she leaves behind a list of things that she wants her to do while she's gone. The things in the list are meant to get her out of her shell and sort of just have her experience the world um, because she's sort of an introvert. And being an introvert, this seems like something that I would really connect to. So I'm excited to see what I think of this one. This one might be a summer read, but I might just have to read it soon because I'm so excited about it. <laughs> All right, that's it for my book outlet book haul. Hopefully I won't be bringing you any more book hauls anytime soon. I know I have no willpower and I buy books way too often, but I really enjoy it, so <laughs> it's okay. As always, leave in the comments below any video ideas you guys have for me, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!